Hi everybody, it's Barry Rudolph. I'm at my studio, Tones for Dollars. Today we're gonna to do a short video about the new Trident Hilo tracking filter. So let's get to it. The Trident Hilo filter is two filters, a low cut and a high cut. Do you have a choice between a 12 dB per octave slope or a 24 dB? Let's put it on 24. Now, a conventional uh, uh, high up pass or low pass filter is a fixed frequency uh, device. I'm gonna play a drum loop and show you what a static filter sounds like. So with this filter, the beauty of this filter is that you have a button called tracking. Tracking enables, actually tracks the frequency that it's, you're processing and opens the filter up in and out. So let's put on tracking. So what I like about this is that you can hear the randomness of the low frequencies coming in and out. Sometimes you get a big kick drum, sometimes you don't. It just depends on the release time of the tracking filter. And I, you, I could very well put this track along with the original and mix them in some way, uh, but it gives you some ideas of what you could do with a tracking filter. We have a stereo bass, bass left, bass right, and uh, this is something that was recorded in Logic through some effect and you can hear it, but I thought it could be a little bit better. So here it is without uh, anything on it, without the high lows on it. On one, I have on the high frequency side, the high cut side, I have the resonance enabled. And what it's gonna do is put a presence peak right at the, at the shelf or the knee, they call it, filter knee, right? Which right now is, on the high frequencies, is 400 hertz. The low frequency, I didn't use that, but both of them have tracking. So without any of this, here's what it sounds like. Kick it in. And out. I have a mono power chord track. It's a drop D tuning and it's a big diesel amplifier, giant amplifier, and it's just, it's just one shot. What I want you to listen to is the very moment of the attack when he strikes the, the chord. Well, here's what it sounds like. And then with this effect in. So I think you can hear the, uh, the effect of the filter dynamically tracking the sound. Let's put both the tracking in. And then I have another one. So you can hear the dynamic, the really a dynamic shape of the filter in that example. Looking at the Pro Tools screen, I have a mono guitar track and I copied it. And so it sounds like this. It's just the same thing on both tracks. Pan to the center, sounds like this. Which is fine, it's a nice sound. But I, what I did was I took those two tracks, 
the duplicated track in the left and right, and I process them differently using the high-low. So going back over to the high-low over here, I have them completely different processing on both the, the low cut and the high cut sections. And this is what it sounds like. Pretty nice because you're actually sculpting the, the tonal nature of the sound completely different on the left and the right. Yet they'll both mono up again and be reasonably uh, phase coherent. One of the things I discovered with this piece of gear is that I generally would also put a trim plug in ahead of the uh, ahead of the uh, high low filter because it kind of controls the uh, the amount of the filter, how much the filter changes. Let's fool around with that. It's like tracking sensitivity. So if I because there is no tracking sensitivity knob on the front. So that was a the way that I kind of added another level of uh, layer of control. Okay, everybody, thanks for uh, joining me and on this video talking about the Trident High-Low Tracking or Dynamic Equalizer. It's a really cool product. It's something different than anything that I've seen. Uh, you could use it like an EQ. I have plenty of examples of uh, guitar stack, tone stacks you can do with it. If you're looking for more information, uh, go ahead and uh, check out my website. I'll include a link with the video. Bye-bye.